the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey there you go, I'm the Brother Camel 12 YouTube channel. Here we are, comic book anime reviews. And you have my review for Champion, issue number 25. So um, this is an issue that we have all been really looking forward to. Or if you are a Champions fan, um, you know, doing a really good job on this book. It's really, really something, really something special. And this is their big, first real big event they're going to have, which is them going, I guess you call it an event, um, them going to Weird World pretty much. And um, I got to tell you, I'm, I was very impressed by it. Um, for the most part, um, it's still a little bit weird for me because I'm probably not as big of a Dungeons <laughs> Dragon fan as Jim Zub is, um, but I still really enjoy it. So um, there we go. You see in the bag. We'll pull it out the bag. Bag down. Gonna kind of go into this book um, a little bit. Um, so in the beginning, but we kind of get really time this nightmare with Thanos and everything. And she wakes up, and they're pretty much having this conversation about Nova. And oh my god, I love the writing in this book. It is so good when you're talking about Nova. Like the way Kamala is, is speaking, where she's just like, I, I, I called Sam's mom to let her know we're still searching for him and Nadia. I didn't want her to feel left out in the dark about all this. You're talking about how she took it. She thinks she talked it all right. And everything that we return that we won't give up. And it's it's really and what and it's great because you keep seeing great pauses in her dialogue when she's talking. Like she says, she's out of the biscuit. She knows we won't. And she knows that we won't give up. And you just see Kamala's facial expression. Like you see that emotion that that dude was putting in here. And like all of right before we even go. To Weird World, all right, Jim Zub, just like he's putting so much emotion to these characters and like like adding so many layers to them. Um, so um, we end up getting Snowball, who ends up finding him away into Weird World, and she kind of we kind of get the kind of revelation that if they do go to Weird World, they're gonna probably end up being changed forever. Um, but they all make the decision to kind of go anyway. And when they get there, we find that Riri seems to be the only one who knows who she is. Um, we get this great fight with Riri in this book that's really awesome and really cool. Um, but she's the only one who knows. Marvel doesn't remember who she is. I'm like, show doesn't remember who he is. Um, no one really remembers who they are uh, right now. Um, but that we do get to find that they are creating this interesting resistance kind of deal uh, in this book where um, like Cho gets dragged off to um, the area by Snow Guard and she meets Snow Guard and Kamala who are just standing there and they have like these new outfits on and again they don't, they don't know who they were before but they now they're these new characters who are called the resistance who are fighting back and it seems like Wasp is seeming to be a villain in this. I'm talking about a little bit more about a little bit more about villains in a little bit because um yeah, at the end here we kind of learn a little bit more about Nova. Uh, here that Nova has been fighting for the bad team um, as a lately since he joined the weird world, and that's kind of where the issue ends off. So I'm gonna get some development for Nova in this arc. I guess, like some really big development. Um, she didn't really need a lot of that for Nova and Riri, actually, especially with the issue of getting out with her remembering. She's being the only one who actually remembers who she is. And she and Jinzo made that choice for a really particular reason. And she's probably going to end up being key, a key portion to um, helping save Nova in some way, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, it was a really good issue of Champions. Um, I definitely cannot wait to see what Jim Zook takes this series going forward. Uh, we already have some ideas. Uh, this was New York Comic Con, y'all didn't know. Um, and we saw some a little bit of the previews for what Jim Zook has planned for 2019. It's pretty big, it's pretty massive. I'm pretty excited for it. It's, I'm already excited I get the weird world, so can't talk too much about that, but I'm definitely excited for where that has to go. So, um, 
This was Champ Nation number 25. If you guys are in the class where you guys are about this issue of champions, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.